Hey everybody, we got a dual com here today with my friend Dr. PlayStation Nation. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hello to the people of Stealthy Knight's channel as well as my own channel. We're going to be posting this on both, right? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, hey guys, you're watching actually Stealth's uh, or Josh's uh, gameplay here. Uh, it's pretty good. He posts actually really good gameplays. Myself, I post kind of more mediocre side of gameplays. But, uh, I don't know, my, introducing myself, I actually only post the mediocre gameplays with, like, uh, just kind of tutorialized sort of commentary where I talk to you guys about stuff and how to do better in the actual game, uh, while stealth is more of the I'm completely beast mode and just wrecks face. So, that's really my intro. You could say that, I guess, but... Yeah, you, you could. Know. Modern Warfare 3 has been different for me. I'm sort of more consistent in this game rather than just getting these crazy gameplays. It's more like I get a 2KD every game and then that's it. It's nothing yeah, like more, 100 plus or anything. I'm more of the, I completely hate Modern Warfare 3 and yeah. Yeah, well, I don't know. You gotta make the f game fun somehow and that's why I use shotguns a lot on PS3. I don't know, I found that Modern Warfare 3 in itself, it, it caters to, it's more noob friendly. So it really makes it, the only way you do well in the game, or like, for me, doing well, it makes the game fun. I also like using shotguns and stuff to make the game fun, but I find like, they they make all the ways that used to be fun in Modern Warfare, or Call of Duty in general, like using shotguns and stuff like that, they made all those completely, like, invaluable. Like, shotguns are complete crap, and, like, pistol only, that's complete crap. There's no way you can do, at least remotely, well. That's true. <laughs> like, oh, the sh shotgun skill, doesn't, skill doesn't mean anything in Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, I find Infinity Ward makes it so the noobs are a lot, like, integrated into the game, like, with death streaks and... Support uh, kill streaks. Yeah, support kill streaks, terrible shotguns, stuff like that. They can just pick up an assault rifle and destroy everybody with it. Do whatever they want. What's that thing called? The little helicopter that flies around? Attack heli? No, the the mini one that you like tag people with. Oh, the recon drone. I hate that. There you that go, thing. recon drone. I cannot stand that thing. I, I take it out every single single time I see it. EMP units ah. for the win. My personal opinion on the. Support kill streaks though is that if they were actually meant to be support, they shouldn't be lethal at all. Like stuff like the stealth bomber yeah, or stealth juggernaut bomber. suit. Like, uh, what is it? What's the the highest one? The um, it's the osprey gunner, but it's the uh, oh, the, the escort airdrop. Escort airdrop. Like that shouldn't be in there. Like literally, there it doesn't help your team out at all. Well, Most it helps time, out if you give away helps. all the care packages. Exactly. But, but most people don't, and stuff like the Juggernaut suit really only helps you when you're in Team Defender and you decide to go sit in a corner. That's true. That actually really helps, though. I haven't really played too much Team Defender, but I've seen that happen a bit. And oh, it's actually terrible. People yeah, just run that strategy all the time. Pretty annoying. And it's really easy to get it. Like You just have to get 15 kills or whatever, 18 or whatever it is. Yeah, 18, 17 or something with yeah. Hardline. Yeah. It's kind of cheap. But, I actually... Uh, I think the EMPs shouldn't be allowed in ground war actually because they're they're so annoying. Like you just have to get 18 kills over the course of the whole game, and suddenly you can block out kill streaks for the whole enemy team to use. Exactly. It's kind of. I don't know. The, I find the EMP. I I I see why they made assassin like go against EMP, but really they should have like split up assassin again because like there should have been. Uh, I feel like there should be more perks that help you against kill streaks because kill streaks are so powerful, right? Not not to say that there should be like assassin should be more powerful because it's already really powerful, but there should be more stuff that can help you against these kill streaks. Uh, I don't know. I like assassin how it is. It's pretty good. I'm actually using it in this gameplay right now. I like it on my uh, MK14 class. It's really good. Uh, it's not so bad now, but when the game first came out, when you would throw up the UAV and you'd see two dots, and I it would actually, just be ridiculous. I actually didn't really have that happen to me too much. I don't, I don't really run into too many people using Assassin. The only people I really see with it is like the Uber tryhards that are like using an MP7 or something with it suppressed, and then running around like drop shotting with Assassin. Now you need to. Quick draw, I find, is uh, way more valuable than assassin or anything like that. Yeah, I, on SMGs, I usually use quick draw, but like, I don't know. I, I run into a lot of people like that are really tryharding with assassin usually. Mm, I, it's also good when uh, you're trying to run with the new special skill streak. I really like how they implemented that in the game too. 
Yeah, I usually use it all the time. Except it's really hard to... Get, like, it's so with, nice with though on the shotguns to get it. Like, uh, it's so much fun running around with a shotgun like that. I don't know, I find shotguns and different guns that you know you're not going to go, like, super tryhard with. I find those are really good with, like, low assault kill streaks. But uh, I can see you using specialists because you're getting Moabs with all those shotguns. You know? Well, I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm not really succeeding at all. I haven't got any yet. I almost got that one with the striker, but that was about it. I haven't really picked up the striker since because I find that anybody who uses it is really just bad, basically. <laughs> I don't know, I found, uh, I was really disappointed, actually, because when I heard the Spaz-12 was coming back, I loved that thing from Modern Warfare 2, and they just turned it in complete shit compared to the Striker. Like, if they would have increased its range slightly, and made, like, it more, like, I find most of the shotguns in this case, like KSG and, uh, other pump actions, it's just, it's so random, because one time you'll get a long shot from somebody, and another time you're shooting them from five feet away, and I know it has something to do with the lag compensation, but I really find that that's a big problem as well. Yeah, those shotguns are really random. That's very true. Like, yeah, uh, I was using the A12 today, and it's just so bad. Uh, you have more of an opportunity than I do, though, because you're on PlayStation, right? Where that's your secondary, so you use stuff like the uh, the shotguns a lot because you don't prestige on that account. Yeah. Well, with me, I'm trying to use like the better guns to kind of burn through my prestiges, and I just find it super difficult to try and use a shotgun at any given time because I don't have the damage or the extended mags to kind of help me out there. Yeah, actually, just in the gameplay right here, I died maybe like two or three or one. I don't really know off an assault moab, so that really sucked. I thought I was behind cover, but that guy with the UMP got me was so close. Yeah, for you guys uh, watching this video, I, I am like 20,000 miles away from stealth right now. Uh, he's on the west side of Canada. I'm on the east side. And uh, he's just watching the gameplay on his computer. I am watching a clock. <laughs> Clocks are pretty fun to watch, actually. Oh, you should see seconds. this. It's going, it's going to 720 right now. Oh, 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 no. oh, oh. oh. oh yeah, yeah. I, got three, I got three digits. It's like milliseconds. Biatch. Wow, that's yeah. pretty accurate. But anyway. But, uh, I don't know. Modern Warfare 3, I absolutely hate it. But I find it... The thing I really like about... Uh, video games is being able to talk about them and using like my experience in the games to kind of talk to other people about them and I find it less fun actually playing the game than it is commentating it but uh, I don't know what, what are your kind of opinions on it like do you do you like playing Call of Duty or are you more of like are you gonna try and change over to Battlefield or uh, mm -hmm. whatever that new free game that you're talking about was oh TF2 that's very fun Team Fortress 2 I love that game I don't know no, what, I like was, Call of Duty. what was the other one with the anti-gravity boots I saw oh, you posted on your channel. Uh, Tribes Ascend. Yeah, that Tribes one's Ascend. really good, too. I might play a lot more of that when it actually comes out in the full game. That'll be yeah, really definitely. good. I love that game, but it's a just, bit... Just make sure to invite me. Yeah. Well, actually, I could probably get you a code right now, actually. There's a way to do it. But, yeah. Just, just like there's a way to get unlimited uh, prestige tokens? Yes, I did that. I really think that they're just bluffing about the getting banned part, because... See, that, that's what I said, but no, Nick, you yeah. shouldn't do the prestige token glitch. Okay, well, I do think they're bluffing, though, because it's Infinity Ward, and really, like... So many people have done it at this point. Yeah, exactly. There's, they're not going to ban people. Anyways, that's know. the end of the gameplay, so... Yeah. If you're on my channel, go check him out. If you're on if you're his on channel... you're on my channel, go check him out. He has pretty yeah. awesome gameplays over there. And he kind of switches it up with me. I don't. He does. <laughs> yes, I post other games as well. So, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's been great talking to you guys. Anyway, I'm the Doctor. I'm out. And my name's Josh. I'll see you guys later.